All right, guys, welcome back to Cold Pizza Watch Reviews. Today we've got an unboxing and we're going to do a little bit of a review on this Bull of a Hack Ivory Dial. Hopefully that's what's in here. This just came in from Joma Shop. So let's get to unboxing. I just got the A11 hack a couple weeks ago. This is the ivory dial. My receipt. This was $197 at Joma Shop. Seems to be about the best running price that they've got going. I don't think I've seen it any cheaper than $197, but you might find it out there. So this is the same box as the A11. It looks like identical. Yep, same exact box that the A11 came in. Uh-oh, it's upside down. That's what... Now, the A11 was not even wrapped in plastic when it arrived. Looks like the same instructions that you get. Warranty information. Nothing else in the box to be concerned with. Guy out of here. It's the ivory dial. That plastic. See there. Wind him up. Now there is the blue dial. Bull of a hack. And there's a few other different versions that you can choose from. I like the, the vintage look of the ivory dial. That's why I went for it. So this is a 38 millimeter versus the 37 of the A11. It's got a 47 lug to lug. See here. You've got an 18 millimeter lug width. It's got a 13.45 case height. So it's a little bit tall. You've got a double domed mineral crystal. I wish it was sapphire, but at $197, it's to be expected. Got a water resistance of 30 meters. The case is stainless steel. There's no screw down crown, just a signed crown. Very simple case back, screw down, stainless steel. You've got the Miyota 82S0 movement inside. It's got a power reserve of 42 hours. Hand windable, hackable movement, just like the A11. To pull this out and set time here. Get to 821. Winding feels very similar, really smooth. Now, some of the pictures show this dial is really bright white, but in person it does have a kind of a cream eggshell look to it. I was kind of nervous because you'll see some pictures depicting this really bright white. And at first I thought there was two models, but this ivory dial, it is definitely an ivory colored in person. And that's one thing I was nervous about, although the model numbers were indicating that it was ivory dial. Immediately I could get a better feel of this in versus the Hamilton khaki. You see I still have some wrist space on either side. Where's tall similarly to the A11? And I'll go over both of these in detail a little bit later and show the differences between them. Love the A11. It's been on my wrist constantly. That's why I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on the ivory dial. I was very happy with the performance of this movement and the build quality. 
<laughs> yeah, that looks great. Get this back off the wrist. All right, welcome back. We've got that strap replaced. I'm using one I've been buying for a while. I get it off of Amazon. This company, Hemsut. It's a uh, Horween leather. And most of them have kind of a vintage feel to them. That's why I like them. They run for like $25, $24. But I think that does a much better service to the watch. I went with more of a vintage brown than that black leather that was already on the watch. Put this on and see how it looks. I think that's a lot better. I think this watch, if you're considering um, Hamilton Khaki, this the Bull of a Line of Hack are just a great option, I think. This having the brush stainless gives you more of a field watch vibe. I think this is a great alternative to the Khaki. Also, you've got these syringe style hands that really give it like this 1940s style kind of an art deco look the problem i have with the hamilton is it just it's been so mass produced it is copied a lot and it's a great watch but the bull of a hack just has such a vintage style dial to it the way the numbers are that the typeset of these numbers the way that bull of is written out the hands just the case finishing that this has a lot more brushing to it I think it does come off as a field watch that you could use for hiking and everyday use. It's not as dressy as the A11. You've got this huge crown, just like the A11. They're both large. This was signed with the Bulova Tuning Fork logo. The A11 is signed just with Bulova. So... To sum it up, if you're looking for a sub $200 classic watch and there's really nothing in the Seiko lineup that looks like this unless you're going to get into an Alpinist, but I'm impressed with this dial. I mean, I I'm definitely will tell you that right off. It's got a good cream ivory look to it. It's not stark white. The typeset's awesome. Exactly what I was looking for. I love vintage style, military, field, pilot watches, you name it. That's what I'm looking for. I think this gives you more of an everyday wear option. It being brushed, it can take a few nicks and scratches and you're getting something I think that doubles as an everyday wear. You can dress this up with a, with a leather strap like this. You can put a NATO on it and you've got a true field watch. This gives you a lot of options in terms of wearability and what you can do with it. I think it's a great value for 197 so if you've got one or you think about one leave your comments below and i'll do a head-to-head -head with the a11 here shortly as always i appreciate you tuning in to cold pizza watch reviews